Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. That is from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 through 7, a great teaching on what love looks like. Sometimes, in our own relationships, we can get off track with what we feel it takes to make it. For some that are having financial problems, they might think if we only made more money, how easier life would be. We wouldn't argue and things would be great. Others might say if we could just have some trust in this relationship, then we wouldn't have any false accusations. We can have a little more space. And a relationship would run a lot smoother. And then there are some that believe having a larger family would help to fill those missing pieces. Some children and grandchildren. But I'm here to tell you that we must have love. Now I'm not speaking of a feeling. Many times love is confused with feelings. We might say things like, I love some ice cream. Or I love vacation time. We casually talk about what makes God who He is. Love. As we read in 1 John 4, 19, we love because He first loved us. Now, Speaking of family, if He didn't first love us, He would not have chosen us to be a part of His family. And as for money, the fact that He has provided us a way to be part of His family is worth more than any amount of money you could ever have. And that leaves us with trust. And even though he knew that the flesh could not be trusted with living a life sin-free, he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die on a cross to be a sacrifice for each and every one of us. Now that, that is love. Listen, we could have money, we could have trust, we could have family, but above all else, We must have love. Because if we take away love and we leave that out, you know what we're left with? (laughs) We're left with absolutely nothing. Listen, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you got something out of this. And until next time, God bless.